Welcome to Verbal Pick Radio, where we give you a verbal image of life, and we are everyday people. Back as promised, uh, we're going to do uh, the show about uh, the parallel universe, the brother Jamal and brother Low Key. Brother Jamal, welcome to the show, bro. Peace, peace, brother Black. Yes, sir, man. Brother Krishna. Brother Krishna. Oh, peace, peace. Yes, sir. Now we we want to. You got it. You got it, God. We we just want to get back into this parallel universe and a definition of parallel universe is a universe that runs parallel to your universe, a present universe. And so we want to get 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 into that. But before we do, well, no, let, let let me do this real quick. Let me give an example of a parallel universe, right? You have you, the physical body, then you have your, your mind, and you have your thoughts, right? And say you you thinking of your thoughts saying, hey, I want to build me a chair. So the physical goes out, it gets the material. The thought in your mind is you creating the shape of it, as you would hear a sign would say, the potter's wheel or whatnot. Then you build that chair and that's when the the two parallel lines meet at its apex because now you're looking in reality of what the fit of what your physical and your mental produce but then there was a scientist we all know about yakub yakub was like well hell i create something and give it form and expression where it'll come in and in the rook, that parallel universe of the original man. And it'll come with a secondary ideology or what we call trick knowledge or, or a man full of tricks so he can throw off the original man from his godhood so he can stay on the planet longer and so he can rule a little bit longer, right? And so that's where we at today. But I just want to read something real quick. That I found that was 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 very powerful, and it comes from uh, uh, Brother Jamal actually, and that manifesto he written was it is it, uh, scribble it, say it, sex it, and it's what is conscious manifestation, manifestation. yeah, manifestation, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. And that's a, uh, he broke, and that, that comes out of the Bible. That's Romans twelve two, and he says, "I always find language to be a helpful tool in any learning process. This is no different. We start our journey by examining two words, parallel two words. You got conscious, and you got manifestation. As their core meanings are realized." We will set the stage and tone to have a successful manifestation outcome. Starting with the word conscious, it is best defined as being aware. It is when we are, it is when we are in greater recognition of what is happening around and through us, right? Now, we're going to start with that awareness, though, Brother Jamal. And, and, and the reason being is because after seeing what took place um, with George Floyd in Seattle, the brother from Houston, Texas, went to Jack Gates High School, and that's that symbology, that picture of that white police officer with his knee on his neck is sent out. Uh, it sent out a message, just that symbol alone, and trying to become aware. Of that 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 symbol, because it says now in the Quran, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. But it's it's hard to resist him when he keep doing things purposely to gather your attention. How do we deal with something like that, brother? Anybody can answer, but I'm, I'm, how do we deal with that, y'all? Because I'm gonna let you, let you attack that. I've been running my mouth already. Right. And that, that Gnosis show on YouTube, for those that's listening, 
you got to check it out because there's a lot of powerful information on that. But we're, I'm just basically trying to get a feel. I, but this, I'm trying to give one oh one oh one oh one knowledge on turning or understanding the media magic and the symbolism. Okay. But I don't know how to attack it. And so when I have Brother Jamal and Brother Lee Loki on the show, or, or AKA Krishna, when I have them on the show, it's it's counseling for me. It's it's counseling for my listeners. You know. So I particularly okay. don't yeah. I don't know how to do that. You know, in a sense. Well Well, I, I think what we gotta do is have a uh, things have been common to us in ways. Okay. Let's say that you had the first wave of the twentieth the first wave of the nineteenth century came primarily with Pascal Beverly's granddaughter. Okay. The second wave of consciousness. But but with him, he has mostly got uh, intercepted by a group of Europeans. Okay. The first wave of metaphysics that really kind of reached so-called black people was through uh, I know what you are least. Um, uh, a little bit of what you say, Marcus Garvey, and then uh, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. What they did was lay the foundation of uh, of laying out capabilities by saying, "You've been told that you are this." Let us now show you a broader perspective. And then we can't just leave out, uh, 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 God, high jump, uh, like in New York. Who? Um, not, not. He was the first oh. No, he was, uh, this guy was, he was before Father Divine. Okay. Uh, Daddy Grace? His name. No, he was before him. Okay. But but he introduced the whole concept of High John the Conqueror, okay. which was basically dealing with metaphysics. Uh, either way, there were there were other people in the earliest early twentieth century. Right. Well, you know, because you got but but two. W. F. R. Muhammad came in nineteen ten, made his first appearance in into America. Okay. Okay. So we have to put. Okay, well, that's the forerunner to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Right. Matt Farr, uh, Muhammad. Right. Okay. These people for the foundation of introducing to this group of people something other than just being slaves, sharecroppers, pullman porters, uh, basic laborers, and good old uh, uh, homegrown Christians. Okay? Right. Now, and we're not going to try to cover the whole scope of all the different people, but let's just say, let's fast forward to right now. Right now, where we're in is in the point of what they were trying to prepare for was for actualization. Which means, now that you know that, okay, you know, we are gods, uh, we are divine, we are uh, more than what has been presented to us. Now it's about, okay, well, how do we actually activate it? Right. And, and, and it really starts with the word confidence. Right. Co- confidence and imagination. Yeah, as you want, so, as you got the power of confidence, right? Right. First, and so, so 
the Bible says you must come as a child, right? Right. Okay, when you are a child, you would allow your imagination to roam and run free. But as you become an adult and you start having to do what we consider to be adult things, your imagination starts to get shut down and your sense of adventure starts to get shut down. And then you lose confidence in the necessity of your imagination. So, so that means if I don't see the place of my imagination, then I can't see what's being done when somebody takes an image and keeps putting it across the media. What they do is they understand that our imagination is very powerful. So even though you are not there experiencing that, you are because your imagination then takes that image and it builds something called a thought form. And that thought form can then literally be like a cloud that hangs over you and it can communicate with your hormones on a physical level and start to scramble your cellular network and cause health issues right. just on the most curious mundane level so if we know that we're capable because we had all these forerunners come and tell us and now we're saying now it becomes i have to control where i allow my attention to go correct See, i don't watch I, 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 there's a lot of things you know you just cannot they, they have set up places to capture attention. And if you're constantly looking there, they'll constantly show you uh, the images that they want to put forward to help create the reality for you and I. Right. Well, well, so, is, um, right. But, 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 but isn't that uh, one of their fears is, well, one of our fears was we didn't want to go back the slavery of the plantation, and one of their fears was they didn't want us to uh, have an uprising and take over. So is that that they they try to keep um, putting those images out to keep us docile or or, or, or fearful? Well, yeah, that's, yes, they are, but they've been studying metaphysics since the 1800s. Okay. So... What we're talking about now, they are, they might not have all of the tools necessary to work all the magic, but they've been studying it for almost 200 years. Right, I, right. Cause I, so I, while we... No, I noticed when... I don't know, brother. I noticed when they use the term, the term that they call, it has a, a God substance to it. They may say radio, raw, raw God, or... or camera cam black raw or black god you know what i mean they hide it in their words but, right. but yeah but they but it's referring to us but they they learn how to master it bro well they, they've learned how to how to steer it okay but you know and because they are just as lost they they got a uh this is kind of off the subject, but it's on the subject. They're supposed to be launching uh, a Tesla rocket. I mean, this uh, not Tesla, but this Elon Musk is trying to launch a, mo- uh, a rocket. Right. Uh, matter of fact, okay. in a few. Right, folks. Fo- oh, they postponed it. Okay, they postponed it. So for all, for all they appear that they know, they are they are in panic mode. Right. They can study, they can study something, but that doesn't mean you can be it. Right. So they've known since we were, since before Emancipation Proclamation, okay, that they were already studying occult matters and already looking at that astrology has been going on. So you got to line up the occult science with the astrology as far as the cycles coming around when this energy will shift. Okay. And so they're more worried about 
this consciousness ex- ex- exploding on a metaphysical tip because it is the, it's more dangerous than any of just like us rebuilding Black Wall Street or all these other things that, that historical events that we, we, we talk about. They're not worried about that. Mm-hmm. They're more worried about on the, on the, on the metaphysical level about uh, an energy wiping out their energy. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. That's right. Facts, bro. Facts. So, I know I'm, I'm drifting on it. Mm-hmm. I just want to say this because I just to really, really hone in on your question. It literally comes down to where are you and I directing our attention? Right. Right. Me- me- meaning, meaning, where as individuals, where are we directing our attention purposely out of our uh, manifestation being thought in mind versus directing our attention by someone else's uh, guide or instruction? That's right. That's right. We're talking about sovereignty. We're talking about the true sovereignty. True sovereignty is sovereignty of one's mind. Okay. Okay. And if I and if I'm gonna, because we only got two things we can do. Like when these things happen, let's just go back eight years since 2012, and we got to be realistic with ourselves. We've done the same thing over and over since Trayvon Martin. We've done the same thing. Outrage, uh, different perspectives presented on something. Love you too, baby. Different perspectives presented on everything. Um, and then that's it. Mm. And then something else pops up. We do the same thing over and over. So it either comes down to we're just going to have an emotional outburst, you know, or we're going to... Uh, and you, that's what it just amounts to. So the thing is, okay, if if I really want to do something about it, then then I, why don't I use what I really got? I'm a magician. If I really want to do something about it, okay, why don't I use my mind? Right. Which is what, which is the most feared thing in the universe. Right. Right. Because I, I, out of the mind came into existence uh what the right. whatever you call it, whatever term you want to give them right okay. the mind is all and all is mental. Yeah, the mind. now brother low key brother low key probably got tied up but, but i'm gonna ask you this though brother jamal the 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 what's the significance oh my bad i had it on mute okay okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. yeah but but but, but brother low key, check this out the the number 13 I don't know if you know, but yeah. it's like it's a number that they won't deal with. What is that? I you know I hear it in movies and I I hear people mentioning it, but we never got a clear understanding of what that was about. Right. So number thirteen, we may have spoken on this before. Uh, from one angle, it's the center of time. The twelve disciples. And the same as the 12 hours on the clock. And the middle of the clock is the nucleus. That's why you'll see pictures of the 12 disciples and you'll see Christ in the middle because the concept of time is dictated from the center point from the nucleus and then the hands that extend from it determines what we can define as well as this is 4.45 p.m. or this time, this, that, and the third. So the same as the same way as the uh, planet's revolve around the sun, uh, son of God, Jesus Christ, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so that number 13 is talking about us as gods uh, becoming the center point because when you're the center point, then you're mastered all 12 houses. doesn't matter if you're talking about the 12 houses of the zodiac. So let's say if you, uh, you can look at it from one angle, then all of these particular zodiacs, uh, the bull, and all, you can say, okay, well, the bull has it's, it's powerful and strong so that would be an ability that if you are a Taurus 
you can utilize that to your advantage. In all 12 houses, they each each house has a special ability that you can tap into. Whether you're talking about, like I said, this, uh, uh, the astrological zodiac or whether you're talking about the Chinese zodiac, the whole goal is to master all the houses, be a jack of all trades. Don't, don't just get locked into just strictly being an Aquarius, but also take advantage of, you know, all, all these other houses and all these other powers, these, these, uh, that we have access to, you know, as Titans. Right. And so they want to keep us away from the understanding of being the center and the nucleus of things and looking at things from a nucleus perspective, understanding that you have most of your impact starting from the core and then expanding outwardly and also being a jack of all trades. So we, we, we're at the center and don't, don't even know it. But Some people are, are unaware. So, so now this goes back to then that means then that if, if you, are afraid, then you lack confidence. And I'm gonna read this part. It says the reason where uh, it talks about is it not written in your law? I said ye are gods, right? And it says the reason we're taking this approach to your uh, conscious manifestation is that knowledge is the doorway to actualization. It's also the basis of developing confidence when you know something for sure. You can tell, but you can tell you otherwise what naysayers can sway or naysayers can't sway you, meaning that when you know who you are, you build that confidence up, you know you the center, and then you start using that power. But it goes back to what we said in the beginning, the, 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 the goal is, or, or the quest is for the individual to build up their confidence so they won't be led by a a trickster whose goal is to mislead you. We we've been it's it's like because this is what gets me, bro. When you're younger and you and you hear your your your, your elders and they say, you know, we, we we're all the same you know, you love everyone, uh, uh, you know, uh, love those that do harm to you. And it's like you keep going over there getting scratched up and you and you hoping that the goodwill of the one who nature by nature hates you. You hoping that one day he will see life through your lenses and will uh, you know, seeing kumbaya and, you know, black girls and black boys and white girls and black boys and we all hold hands and seeing the old Negro spiritual. And it's hard to tear people away from that, that mindset because I'm starting to understand that by nature, he is to do what he is doing and it's up, it's up to us to figure it out. It's like football. Like they say, I'm going to run the same play down your throat till you stop it. You know? And then it's like the coach. The coach, with, which is our mind, our mind, which is our coach, got to be like, hey, man, we, you know, we, we need a new, uh, a new game plan. And it seems like that new game plan is uh, metaphysics. It's, it's magic. You know, but I guess he, he, he which, yes, sir. The most ancient game plan. Ancient game plan. Right, as well. But, as well. but, but see, he went, he it's went. A, a, it's, it's an old, it's an old game plan rediscovered. Okay. But, rediscovered at this, at this time. Well, he went ahead of us. And, and I want to touch base on this before we go. Cause I, cause we can go all day with the knowledge that's on this phone. Right. But I want to touch bases on. The, the the three mad guys, the, the the three magicians, uh Melchizedek, um all of these were were, were high science, or the order of Melchizedek, uh mathematics, the mad guy, Melchizedek, uh, is it is it Mangus? Is that all the same thing? Right. Well, well I, I wanna say something about that. that because the three is the three is significant. Mm-hmm. I've been working on a lecture about numerology, and, and this is what 
what I've come to learn. The three represents the zero. I'm going to tell you why. And it's funny because Christian said earlier about his cousin was saying that, that, that uh, Nick Ashford came through and that it was lining up with uh, him tapping into the feminine energy. <laughs> that three, whenever you hear three, that's the feminine energy. That's how you know. Is that before you have Kether on the on the tree of life, Kether is the first spear. But we all know that before you get to Kether, you have Ain, Ain soft, Ain soft earth, and that whole thing is supposed to be the nothingness, which would equal zero, which would be feminine. Mm. So magic is the three, the three magi is speaking to the feminine energy. That's how you act. You access it. Mm. That is the so the ultimate magician in the Bible is the first character who is the most maligned, who is Eve. Yeah. She's the master magician. She is life itself. There is no life without magic. Mm. It's not nothing new. That means you're not living until you learn how to use some type of magic consciously. Yeah. You already do it hap haphazardly. But when you start to utilize it, that is why the yod in in Hebrew, if you load, if you know, okay, let me get, check this out. He, I'm just, this is a jewel right here. So when you look at the when you look at the tree of life at the top, you normally see Kether is represented by the face of an old man. All right. When you look at you, one thing about observation, you got to observe everything. Nothing is by happenstance. Mm -hmm. You always see the right side of that man's face. You never see the left side because the left is feminine. But that man supposed to represent Kether, which is Yod, which is goes into Yod Hey Vahe. Kether is the Yod. Okay. But the yod is a flame that is blowing to the left. That means something is coming from the other side that's blowing it. Mm -hmm. That's Eve. No, no, no. That's mm -hmm. the feminine side. So the breath that makes the flame start to... And if you just go on the computer, look up a yod. You don't see it's a flame that's bending to the left. That means that the breath is coming from the right, the right brain, which is Eve. She's the breath that ignites the, the, the primal force. That's the magic. Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yahweh. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, we appreciate that, Jew, and, and that understanding. So that means that the God had both male and feminine energy. The Supreme did. The Supreme. The supreme. Yes, sir. The Supreme. So in okay, so I, so then that means then that if we have three hundred and sixty degrees of knowledge, and the made man got thirty and it can only reach thirty three and a third, then that means he did a, a a number on us because I remember when I was in elementary school, and when you were a child and 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 say you getting ready to get in trouble for something right. And man, you, 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 and you saying to the universe with, with every energy in your body, don't let this be discovered. And you be amazed when it don't be get discovered because you don't want to get in trouble from your parents or whatnot. You don't know at the early stage you using magic. You using your thoughts and your will. Right. But as you get older, and you start really getting involved into to, to society and media and life. It, it teaches you how to uh, how to how to, it teaches you how to door door your senses. You know because there is not enough teachers that can take that 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 uh, that that curiosity of that child and 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 grow it and grow it. Because within within our family, you just even mentioned the word magic, and the elders they run away, but not realizing that the three which you said was the zero, the the magi's 
with another term for magic. And you celebrate them every Christmas. So yeah, I'm just saying that to prove that yeah, that he is a deceiver. Because he deceived us and deceived the whole world to where we don't even know who we are. No, but I take it back. We know who we are, but I'm saying we're trying to unlock those rusty locks of the masses to wake up to realize who they are and to understand why this man is doing what he's doing to us. It's, 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 it's a purpose. He want to stay on this. He want to stay on the planet as long as he can. He he wants to stay here as long as he can, and he would do anything in his powers, as you stated earlier, brother Jamal. You too, low key, to keep us out the knowledge of who we are, and and, and the fact, and, and as you wrote in your in, in your manifesto, that all of you are gods, children of the Most High God. That's uh-huh. that's hard for I even hear elderly people. That's hard for them to expect because they say I ain't nothing. I don't see myself as a god. I ain't nothing. You know what I'm mean? saying? It's that right. con- that constant beating yourself up. Why don't you take pride in yourself and be the god and enjoy your life? Well, I, I was talking to my mama about this the other day, and the thing is, you know, I think a misconception is that. When you say I'm God, it's that uh, that I'm being boastful. And what I was telling my mama is that it's actually the most humbling thing that you can say. Because if I accept that I am the divine, then I, I'm saying that I recognize that the divine has no limit. Because once I say that I'm not it, not, it's not about me, it's about I just put a limit on it. Mm-hmm. So when I say I'm God, I'm actually being humble. Okay. I'm not saying that I have power over you. I'm better than you or anybody else. I'm saying that I recognize, recognize that this divine force, there is no way that I can that it can be limited. Right. So how the fuck can I, how, how can it be limited for me? Right. This thing is everywhere. Every, all of, you, 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 you got sight, you got sound. You smell, you got elements that you yeah. control that are around. Why not use it out to its fullest? And that goes, see, that goes back, that goes back to say, look, suppose been a story when, 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 and we, we went over this before though, but when, when, when the serpent was telling Eve, look, man, they don't want you to become a god like them or one, one like them if you eat this fruit. They ate the fruit, their eyes was open, and the Lord said, Behold, man has become one of us. <laughs> Use your powers. But before we get out, get out of here, brother Low Key. Yes, sir. Check this out. Now, because we we on this, we still on the God thing. Soul of a God. Yeah, I like that. Soul of a God. Uh-huh. Explain that. The soul of a God. Right. So uh Soul of a God, and it's actually a couple of things. Um, I started out, you know, the verse saying soul of a God, heart of a Titan, because I was acknowledging that there's something that came prior before the God concept. Really, the gods are the children of the Titans, are the great old ones, or what have you. And um, I even want to say I'll be interested to hear Jay's perspective on how that would line up with the Kabbalah because, uh, to my understanding, there was something even above, uh, Sophia, you know, and that Sophia's, uh, what was born out of her, which I, if I'm not, mis- uh, was Kether, um, uh, then they, uh, well, I'll I just, I'll, I'll say it that way, but, um, if I'm not mistaken, it was the eight odd gods which um, I found in in, uh, in Egypt. And then above, there was something even above the eight eye gods. And I think the eight eye gods, I th- I, if I'm not mistaken, that's the eight uh, uh, symbols that show, well, the, the, the eight elements that make up carbon. And they have the actual, uh, you can actually find the sigil or the symbol for it whenever you look up, uh, when you look, when you Google it, they'll actually show you what that looks like. And I keep a picture of that 
on my wall. I've had it up there for years because, uh, you know, that way the subconscious can pick up on those sigils, you know, while I'm, you know, studying or what have you. Uh, can you okay, I'm still on. Can y'all hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah, I can hear you. Yes, sir. Okay. And um, so, you know, I, you know, the, the verse, the soul of a God, heart of a titan, I shot down Jack. That's a reference to Jack and the Beast. Uh, uh, I shot down Jack uh, for trying to get at a giant. A giant is another reference to something that existed before the gods, you know. Um, and, you know, so on and so forth. I go into the whole mythology and flip the whole mythology, excuse me, the whole mythology about Jack and the Beast uh, into something that actually happened in my life. You know, I, I break, I actually break it down in code and step by step exactly what happened. And when I said that, you know, that I got robbed, that didn't literally get robbed. They got robbed by uh, a conspirator and the and the United and the U.S. corporation. Okay. You know, uh, and I'm not. That's not me. As a as a god, one of the beautiful things about understanding that you god, you gotta take uh, uh, responsibility for everything that make manifest in your creation. And uh, you're always looking in the mirror. Yeah. And uh, Mama Shola and Paula Mamba is the symbol of the mirror because the mirror is the, the mirror, the deity, the mirror, the deity, the mirror is you. You're looking mm. at your reflection. It's, it's funny because when you're looking at a screen, when you turn the light show off, you're just looking at a mirror. You're looking at yourself. So everything that come on in that media and that screen is, uh, is, is, and I think OG Bible would say this, is something that's going on with inside of your composition and, and uh, something that's, um, it's, it's, it's happening inside and outwardly. Uh, something inside of you or something that's going on within you, within your subconscious is being expressed through these mirrors and through this, through creation. You know, so it always, anything that's going on, it always comes back to a self-evaluation. Well, why does this make manifest? How can I use this as a tool? Um, you know, Professor Denny and Mel told me that's why, you know, I had missing the Y'all Brothers, never an obstacle, always an opportunity. And, I, you know, I didn't know that that was going to stick with me for my whole life, you know, because that's something that O.G. Bible was a master at. Every Everything that um, he experienced, he saw the divinity within it. It was always to his advantage. No matter what happened, it was always to his advantage. Right. It was always an opportunity, you know, always an opportunity to evolve, to to... You know, and you know, and, and that's that's just basically what it is. So, yeah. you know, the work it goes back to the work. You know, I would suggest you know get the astral travel book, get the psychomancy book, and actually put in the work. You know, and um, uh, you know, check out brother brother Jamal's books. You know, and check out you know Cole Black's book. You know, and and you know uh, don't. It's, it's, it's good to get on YouTube and listen to the knowledge and all that good shit, but it's, it's, some people find it more difficult to actually crack open the book and do the work that sometimes may be tedious, but, you know, you got, you know, you gotta look at it like your, your, your life depends on it because, you know, this, this game of life is that either you're gonna come to a level of understanding to be the transcendent, or you're just gonna hit the reset button and play it again. You're playing MK11 right now. You're gonna be you're playing Aftermath right now. You're gonna be playing another version that's gonna be coming out and you're just gonna repeat the cycle where there's something that goes beyond that. You, we at least know that we came from, for the Christians or whoever that you came for something that was greater than this. I think everybody can, can agree to that, even right. the atheists to say that, you know, that unless you're just a person that, that feels like you're going to always be totally limited for, for an infinite amount of time. But if you, if you someone understands that there's something greater, then you got to put in the work to get there. You can't just absorb the light, you know, without cultivating it to get to the understanding, to get to the number three, you got to put in the work. Bottom line, and, and. Yeah, powerful, yes, sir, bro. Yeah, you got to put, got to, it's not going. Yeah, you got to put the work in, man. And that's how you get the understanding of what you're doing by putting the work in. Wow, yeah. that's what's up, bro. Look, hey, I appreciate, I appreciate you all on the show. That um, the 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 the, the scribble it, say it, sex it. Brother Jamal, that's on your. They can they can contact you at uh, info at masters. Give them the uh, your e the email. No, nah, all they just gotta do is go on the website. And they can just get it. Okay. Just go to masters of the cosmos. Okay. Dot com. 
There you go. Masters of the Cosmos dot com. Go to their website, check it out. You can because that's reading and that's putting the work in, and that's also recognizing and understanding those of us that put work out, such as my 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 book Consequences, Vince Cole Muhammad. Uh, brother Jamal has a, a book out. Go to his uh, website, SoundCloud, and check out Soul of a God by Brother Low Key. And hey, because we're not just talking about it, man. We actually putting work in. You know, we actually putting something that you can actually hear or you can touch, you can uh, feel, you can see. We putting that out there so those who are interested in and, and want to know and, and wants to grow, uh, you have that opportunity. It's right there at your feet because. As Brother Jamal stated earlier, George Floyd, Eric Garner, Ahmed Aubrey, Breonna Taylor. I mean, we can just come. We can go down the list. And and the only way is your energy got to defeat that energy. Your original brain got to defeat that grafted brain. Your magic has to be higher. So that's what it is, bro. Man, anything y'all want to add before we get out of here? Well, <laughs> <laughs> we have to circle back. <laughs> yeah, but we'll see. See, we can go on. I mean, because we got to save all this for another part because we can, because it's, it's always a layer on top of a layer. And then when you dig in, it's always something a little further that you can dig too. Ooh. Yeah, Chris and I do stuff out there. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta go on these Titans. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're I, I want to say, I got one thing. I yeah. got one thing. Yes, yeah, and, and since I'm saying it, I, I need to uh, do some do some clean up in the crib, man. Is uh, man, when things like this happen, oh, people need to understand HP Lovecraft's work, and they need to understand the Necronomicon, man. And if you could have, if you could put together a Necronomicon altar and really come to understand what those symbols mean and how these symbols play out and how it's happening right now and how the end of time that we're in is a reflection of the beginning of time because the Necronomicon is the deepest aspects of the subconscious mind. That's the beginning. With, that's darkness. That's the triple stage darkness, three trimester of birth, all the way up to where we're at now where you see these quote unquote horrific things happening in horror movies. This is this is straight out of horror movie, the stuff that you're seeing. It is the Necro Necronomicon in the here right now. So, you know, man, get you a my suggestion if you're really into this thing, man, get you a Necronomicon altar, put you a five G tower on there, put you a mask on that altar, put the deities mm. on there. Put, mm. You know, Put your um, uh, uh, alien from the uh, uh, from the series. Put your alien action figures on there. Put your predator action figure on there. You know, put uh, the brother from Black Panther, uh, uh, the brother that was that was uh, talking at real. Um, uh, what was the brother name? Yeah, the, the, T'Challa. T'Challa. Yeah, T'Challa. Put T'Challa on there. You know, and and you know. Uh, the greatest act of a warrior, as they said in the movie Hero with Jet Li, is to drop a sword. Drop your sword and absorb everything that's going on and become it. Become one with it. Because they already figured that out a long time ago and been trying to do it. But they're, they, they're scared. They put this in, in this movie because they're, that's what they're scared of. They're trying to get... that. They, if you can traumatically program a people's subconscious mind in these, in these horror movies are key. I'm... I'm all I look at, I, the majority of movies I look at is horror movies. I'm a horror movie buff. I listen to commentaries. I'm into this shit. Mm -hmm. And I'm into the Necronomicon. I'm hands on with this shit mm -hmm. for a long time now. And the movie Hellraiser, like, right. in that movie, they cut, they showed you some of the beauty side of it. They're showing you how to absorb it because if it's, they're scared of it because it's powerful. And it's one of the, you know, along with Boom Doom, they show you in these movies what they're most terrified of. Just like Brother Jamal was saying earlier, yeah, you could create another Black Wall Street, but that's just gonna, you know, at best, niggas are gonna hold hands and they're gonna keep time alive. 
and give them niggas more time to try to get somewhere. And I'm not, I can care less, you know, it, it, whatever their, whatever, uh, you know, personal agenda that they may have, I'm focused on, on my work. You know, so I just, you know, that's, that's some, 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 some things to add in the mix, man, that, uh, some real, so you want to tap into some real motherfucking power, look at, understand what that shit is, man. Right. And absorb it, man. Eat it. Eat you, it alive. You saying when they had that, that, that black smoke coming out of the universe, or this, this, this that liquid and this, and this black and it's coming at them and they yell and they consume them, that's what they're afraid of. That's what they're afraid of. Yeah. They're afraid of, but that's it's inevitable. The black liquid will absorb creation again. This is this is this is the the actual we're living it. We're living the absorption. Wow, bro. Powerful. That's powerful. That's powerful, bro. Yes, sir. Sure. <laughs> so I uh, so I guess it I guess it um it takes place in its own good time. Yes, sir, man. But it's happening. Yes, sir. We're powerful. That's yeah, man. Saying. You know they got you know they got some uh some saints and Catholicism that got their heads chopped off. You actually see that also in the movie The First Hellraiser. They had one of those saints on there, man. You think you think that, that shit ain't being used? These are you can look yeah. these are real deities that they use. Yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah. And and you know <laughs> you know, Brother Javar was speaking on the age and, you know, uh cats man and how they have, you know, they altars where you walk in they laundry mats and shit yeah, and right they got there. the shit at China China border. Right up there at Greens Point, they got altars all set out yeah. with money. Come on, man. Candy, like, right you now, know, <laughs> Right you got now, the botanicals down the street, all the Mexicans go to that's in walking distance and acres home. Like everybody using this shit uh, uh, around niggas, and niggas is on the lowest level of magic, and <laughs> and ain't looking at that shit is the foundation for say whole corporation. <laughs> that's how important that shit is. You, right. you know, your your house needs to be. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not to cut you. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna yield. Your house needs to be set up as a fortress. A mm. fortress. Mm. I just had somebody come here trying to sell us on some fucking doorbell cameras. I said, I don't, I don't want, don't come tell me about what the fuck my neighbor doing. I don't care what they doing. I don't want that shit. That's right. That's right. <laughs> my shit is already hooked up. That's right. You know, but my bad, Chris. No. I'm a year old there. No. Real shit, man. Shout out, shout out to the dogs in the yard, man. Yeah. You know, y'all, y'all here, but y'all here, but that's our band of energy, man. I fuck with it, man. Come on, I fuck with it. You Come know on. that that old girl, you know, you did what old girl, or uh, uh, all the fuck ever, you know what I mean? Mm. But yeah, oh. um, that's all I need right there, mm. man. And 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 just understand it, mm. do that work, mm. put in that work like Lord Lux say. Come on, you, you can't miss us on nothing. It niggas always lazy, niggas lazy, man. Right. Niggas around always want to talk about this shit all the goddamn time, but they put man. their hands in their hands on this shit. Right, right. Come on, that that was the now that was really the energy behind that. that. <laughs> boy, <laughs> boy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. So shit, I love that. It's easy for me, man, because I love to work. I got. I guess that was the reason, you know, so kind of like I was all bad to chat it on me, man, because, you know, I got that from Pops, man. Pops and my T job, and they're some working motherfuckers, man. Right. You know, right. so I, I love this shit. If I ain't working, you mm. know, like, I mean, besides getting proper rest, man, like, mm. that's why my happiness comes from that. Exactly. So I don't doubt that lazy shit, man, you know, that, you know, niggas believe in a motherfucker and they gonna get there. Like, I ain't, it don't work like that, man. Y'all niggas love Michael Jordan so much. All they fucking said was a nigga was a worker. All it. You yeah. want to be great, or right. you want to be goddamn just just enough to make it. Or study him enough just to imitate him. Right. I see a imitate lot of that. his work habits. Right, right. Imitate the work. Well, yeah, right. But you know, we've been taught to you know because we. It's like Michael Mick said though. We the only ones who put our uh, entertainers and sports figures uh, as leaders, or we listen to or we follow. You know, 
Those entertainers, those they 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 you run the football, you know, dunk the ball, you know. But as far as you know, giving guidance and leadership, you know, in, in dealing with the, the circumstances of life, that's not they forte, you know. But 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 we we've been taught to lean towards those, like the names that Brother Jamal was mentioning earlier, and Father Divine and Marcus Garvey and. Uh, 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 Deuce Ali and, and, and Noble Drew Ali and, you know, so many, many others, those names should be just known, just automatic, you know, and, and amongst us as far as black history, even though we understand that they give us who to study, uh, and during black history and, and not during black history. They tell you, you're gonna, you're gonna have Rosa Parks. You got Malcolm X, you got Martin Luther King. Y'all take them three. That's all. That's all you can do. But you start bringing up other names, you know, people start getting afraid. They don't want to talk about it. But that's the thing you should be running to. So there you go. Right, man. We another build, man. Look, and I appreciate it. And as promised, y'all, all of that that we were talking about discussing was part of your parallel universe. Learn it, study it. Uh, you got some some introductions to it. You got uh, what to put on your altars and dealing with the time that we living in. Uh, you got how you can get the manifesto by Brother Jamal uh, on his web page. Get that, read that, build yourselves up because it's you got to have both. You just can't live in the physical. You have to master the spiritual and the mental and you control your own thoughts. Verbal Pick Radio, we out.